Heavenly Delusion has got to be the best anime I'm probably watching this season, but after watching episode 4, bruh, I cannot defend this homie's actions, man. So in this episode, bruh, we get to see this homie with gray hair, because I don't even know their name. Someone just classified them by hair color. Dude, this brother is down horrendously, man. You know, I thought I was bad. I've been having a lot of bad luck with women lately, but dude, this guy does not know how to talk to girls, man. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I do know he's like 13 or 14, but... But, bro, with this homie with gray hair was telling this other girl that he's been, you know, having a huge crush on for like a hot minute. It's because he got this picture one day of this girl with brown hair. She was taking a shower. And I don't know who took the picture because from what I've been using the context clues for the scene is she didn't take the picture herself. But I'll talk more about it right now. So what the gray homie, you know, the homie with gray hair said is he wanted to take her clothes yeah, off. Man touch her and then lick her man like bro i don't know where he learned this wrist from but clearly it, it's not working man you don't tell the girl you want to you know take her clothes off and lick her like bro if i was a woman and i heard a boy confess me and like that i would probably like follow a restraining order as soon as possible because i would make me feel really uncomfortable and i'm pretty sure everybody in this utopian world right now at least in you know not the outside world the outside world everybody's like different ages but you know in this little utopian school world i'm pretty sure everybody's like 13 or 14 so i don't know where he got this from maybe he learned that shit from brain pop because i don't know the type of shit they are teaching these kids inside this little utopian society but yeah now we got out of the way i want to talk about the picture so yeah like i was saying not that long ago that we learned in this episode that the girl she didn't even take the picture herself but then you know the later on the homie with gray hair he was trying to look at the picture again because i guess this motherfucker was horny bro this whole episode everybody is horny bro we just see everybody kissing confessing their feelings but yeah like i was saying the homie with gray Right here was trying to find the photo and I don't know what happened, but it somehow got deleted from his tablet. But I do have like this weird sensation in my brain telling me that someone is kind of manipulating him. I feel like the people that are in charge of the school took the picture of the girl to like, you know, so it could like awaken some urge in the gray guy's like, you know, brain. Cause you know, they all are around the age of puberty. So I'm pretty sure they're starting to get like, you know, horny and shit. Maybe the people in this utopian society are trying to make them like, you know, have sexual intercourse like reproduce i don't know i'm not too sure because you know i'm an anime only but the way i see it, i just think the people in the school want to like reproduce or like you know do some sort of experiment with them because there is no way they're gonna manipulate my man like that because he didn't delete the photo himself so somebody else might be doing it but yeah just all in all don't get me wrong i love the anime but just everybody in this school is starting to get horny now man and i don't even feel comfortable sharing like pictures of, like videos of them kissing because Dude, I'm, these are all like kids and shit. There's also was another scene where the homie Tokyo, I don't know if he's a man, I mean a boy or a girl, but he was about to get kissed by this one guy. I mean, he's like sick and shit, like he's in his bed type stuff. He was probably like one of those kids you probably see like in a Make a Wish Foundation commercial. Like he was trying to go in for a kiss, but he didn't even ask her, man. He just went in and expected her to like, you know, reciprocate the kiss, but you know, she ran away and she was talking to this guy. I think his name was kona and i ain't gonna lie i do love the homie kona man he's a pretty cool guy man in my book he's always like drawing and like making origamis i think and you know tokyo was like yo you know what because, you know, Kona was giving, you know, I guess he was giving her the birds and the bees talks like about, yeah, when you grow up, man, you're going to want to touch somebody or like, you know, get touched yourself. And then Tokyo was like, you know what? If that day ever does come, I want it to be you. And I ain't going to lie. Listen, I felt like a romantic, you know, vibe between them, man. So, you know, expect maybe some freaky shit to go on later down the line because I don't know how many episodes this anime is. But yeah, just Kona and Tokyo, I shipped them together power couple man i wish them the worst i'm the best the best <laughs> i'm sorry man i'm slipping up because i i obviously i'm always spreading like hate and negativity online so you know i kind of messed up a bit there but yeah other than that guys please remember to like comment subscribe just i don't know what's going on man everybody's kissing this shit so the, the adults in this freaking anime they gotta step up man because there's gonna be a lot of babies because i don't know if these motherfuckers got birth control in this little utopian society man because I'm pretty sure they're gonna get to that age or that point where you know they're just gonna try to do something and they're probably gonna succeed in making life man but yeah peace